step 1, figure out the conclusion here. You see this sentence here is the conclusion of the argument. Step 2, link the two portions in boldface with the conclusion. You see the first boldface here supports the conclusion and the second boldface here also supports the conclusion. So see the first boldface, the second boldface and the conclusion are all in sync and all three are against this conventional viewpoint here. So with this groundwork, let's look at the answer choices. See first and second do not seek to challenge the position that the argument seeks to establish. As I just explained, first and second both support the main conclusion of the argument. So answer choice A cannot be correct. Similarly, answer choice B cannot be correct because it says that first and second describe evidence that has been used to support the position that the argument seeks to oppose. As I just said, the first boldface, the second boldface and the conclusion of the argument are all in sync. So the boldfaces cannot be supporting something that the argument seeks to oppose. They have to be either supporting something that the argument supports or they have to be challenging something that the argument opposes. See, there is great merit in answer choice C. The position that the argument seeks to oppose is this conventional position here. And yes, the two bold faces also challenge this conventional position here. Answer choice C is likely the correct answer choice. Look at answer choice D here. No, the first is not the basis of an objection to the position that the second establishes. See, as I said, the first bold face, the second bold face, and the conclusion are all in sync. So the first cannot form the basis of objection for the second. So this cannot be correct. Look at answer choice E now. To say that the first is evidence that forms the basis of an objection to the position that the argument seeks to oppose is all right. Yes, the argument opposes this conventional thought and the first also opposes the conventional thought. So the first part is loosely all right. Look at the second part here. The second is a consideration that is introduced to counter the force of that evidence. So in simple words, it is saying that the second bold face is countering the force of the first bold face. That is not the case. The two bold faces are in sync. So answer choice E cannot be correct. Let's confirm answer choice C now. We know that this is the conclusion. This conclusion is against this conventional thought and the first bold face and the second bold face, they both support the conclusion of the argument and therefore they oppose the conventional thought. Answer choice C says that the first and the second each describe evidence. See, evidence is a good term here because the first bold face as well as the second bold face, they capture concrete factual information, information that has been used to challenge the position that the argument seeks to oppose. Which position? this conventional position. See, the argument is opposing this conventional position. The argument's conclusion is against the conventional position and the two bold faces are also against this conventional position. And therefore, it is correct to say that the first and second each have been used to challenge the position that the argument seeks to oppose. C is the correct answer choice.